we learned other pair we learned Kardashian product we learned now relations also so now one question comes what are the total number of possible relationship from two sets all right let's say we have a set a and total number of elements in set a is let's say m all right and similarly let's say we have another set b and total elements in set b is let's say n okay so uh, as we had learned the total possible Kardashian product in set a and b or you can say a cross b will be simply n dot n all right and now the question is what is the total possible relation all right so total possible elements in the relation from a to b will be 2 to the power m times n all right keep that in mind this uh, formula you have to ensure in your brain permanently in your hard disk all right so 2 to the power mn let me give you a very quick demo let's say i have a equals to let's say 1 2 b equals to let's say 3 all right and now i want to find out a cross b so you can tell me how many elements are in a cross b m times n that is 2 times 1 so 2 times 1 that's 2 all right so this 1 can make a relationship with 1 so it's 1 3 and again this 2 can make a relationship with this uh 3 only so it's 2 3 all right so total number of elements in uh a cross b you can say a cross b the cartesian product of a and b is only 2 you know 1 and 2 and now the question is how many relationships are possible how many such how many number of elements will be in the set of r in the in the relationship of r that is very clear if you remember the definition of r r is relation is uh, the subset of subset of cartesian product that is a cross b so subset of cartesian product i didn't say how many or how i haven't defined so it's total possible subset of cartesian product right so simply if you want to say uh, uh, total possible uh, total possible elements in relation then I will say simply total possible subset in the Cartesian product all right so how much uh, how much possible subsets we can prepare from this from this a and B so we can find out simply by 2 to the power mn and in this case uh, m is here 2 all right and in this case n is here 1 so it's going to be 2 to the power 2 times 1 that is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 so we can find out here how many uh, how many uh, total subsets we can find out four subsets all right so the total possible relations in this uh, two sets is four and you can easily guess them what they are by the way we don't know how exactly relations are defined but we can say that we can predict actually the total possible it can be one can be related with three so it will be one three similarly two can be related with three so it may be like two three <coughs> it may happen that uh, somehow three is related with one so 3 1 it may be like 3 is somehow related with 2 so it may be it may be 3 2 so this is the total possible relations the elements of the total possible relations all right these are the elements total elements in the possible relation it's not exactly the relation but total possible elements of the relations maybe this two maybe this two maybe this two maybe this two or maybe this two anyhow they, they may be all right so i don't know but these these are the elements which you will find out uh, in any relationship that you are going to build up from a and b all right it's very clear this formula can be used anywhere anywhere let's say let's say for a while you have a set a which is containing just element let's say a all right and you have set b which is containing just one element b so what is the total possible relations total possible relations is m n and here your m is 1 and n is also 1 so it's going to be 2 to the power 1 times 1 that is simply 2 and what are those relations so if you go to the relations the total possible elements of the relations then you'll find out yeah a can get related with b so that will be a b or 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 it may happen in any way that b is related with a so it may be b a somewhere all right so the total possible elements is a b and b a so so these were the two possible elements of the any relation that we are going to form from these two set a b all right it's it's not the relation it's the total possible elements of the relations that we can form from these a and b i hope you understand it if there is any more confusion or doubt then please feel free to comment below this video i will definitely get back to you i'll be really happy to reply you back in the comment section and please hit the like button to this video and subscribe the channel Bye bye